There are places on Earth, places too rare to simply shuffle past, where our planet's never-ending cycle of transformation is in plain sight, waiting for a little human intervention. A transition zone. That's where we are. A place where John Brisbane Walker, a Renaissance man if there ever was one, imagined the Great Plains would get up on their feet, stand up straight and shout from the base of the Rockies. A place where the Jurassic transitions into the classic, where bold visions transition into even bolder realities and where man's offspring with nature comes to play a set that lasts all night. Benefiting from an absence of regulations in place today, Walker was able to blast and hammer at the formations as he saw fit, and during America's Great Depression, he would fashion them into their modern form with the help of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Since then, the set of rocky formations near Morrison, Colorado have gone by many names, but the most lasting name has been Red Rocks. At Red Rocks, the Earth's amphitheater, titans come to roar and angels come to sing. They bring crowds of the devoted, the eager, and the willing to the world's only naturally occurring, acoustically perfect outdoor venue. A product of the untamed times and untamed minds of the rustic west, the great monoliths that form Red Rocks have made the venue into an icon, a temple to the gods of the stage. And on this stage, the only in the world of its kind, 75 years of thundering, timeless performances have taken place. They echo off the faces of the rocks, and from this mountain park, follow us home and remind us of what life could be like under a tapestry of music, motion, and starlight. Red Rocks, where Mother Earth is the architect, and we are her spectators.